Hey folks, this is Joseph and John Huntwell again. Uh, I wanted to touch on something because it's something that comes up a lot. Or at least when I'm talking to some some of the more Wheaton College type Christians, I guess. The more uh, young evangelical, not necessarily college age kids, but kids that always hang around the Wheaton College area. A lot of them are high school kids and junior high kids. Uh, they want to know about faith versus works. And all these arguments from the Reformation and Counter-Reformation and stuff like that. The Orthodox Church wasn't part of that. It didn't get into that. This type of confusing, well, are we saved by faith or works, kind of takes Orthodox people back because it's never been an issue. It's fairly plain in the New Testament. Uh, yeah, of course, you know, it's our faith. It's what... Uh, but faith isn't dead. I mean, even the thief on the cross. I mean, he was, he was, you know, coming to Jesus. He was defending Christ. Um, that I mean, that in itself is a work. I mean, faith is a work. By grace, we can do all this stuff. It's easier just to say we're saved by grace and just drop all that bickering. Can you earn your way up to heaven like Mormons do? Absolutely not. Uh, is there interaction with God and theosis and sanctification? Of course there is. Uh, sanctification op optional Christianity, I think, is a fairly recent thing. Um, the idea that some people think, oh, well, you know, you're, you have any type of active relationship with God, which is something I don't understand. They, they claim you have a relationship with Christ personal relationship with Christ, man. But then there's no, it's it's almost like Gnosticism. You say the magic password, Jesus come into my heart, and boom, that's that's how you get in heaven. That's how you pass the demon of, of Yahweh. That's how you appease his, uh, his angry wrath. No. Um, we have to come... It's a lack of the first three centuries. I think once somebody looks at the first three centuries of Christianity, they're convicted of having to say that they're Catholic. And I, I wanted to touch on that too. Anyone who says they are Catholic, who, would, who, who identifies as a Catholic Christian, I would say they're my Christian brothers. Lutherans, Anglicans, or anybody who, who, know, who understands the Trinity, and uh, not understands, I don't want to say understands the Trinity. God forgive me for saying that, but... um. Anybody who accepts the Trinity and the deity of Christ, uh, they, they, they're a Christian. Um, the strange thing with, with this works-faith argument is that it seems like it was pretty well, I mean, it was really well hashed out in the New Testament. Why all the bickering? And I understand how the Catholics grew into their their strange way and how they wound up perverting the fairly decent idea of purgatory into some uh, minor hell where you pay for sins instead of the purification of God by fire, cleaning off the dross. Um, yeah, that was wrong. It should have been stood up against. I think if Jan Hughes or Jan Huss or however you pronounce it, he was pretty much trying to get orthodoxy. From what I read of him, he, he sounds extremely orthodox. It's too bad that people didn't follow him, and they, they followed Martin Luther, um, who was a terrible human being along with Calvin. Uh, but yeah, when especially for Protestants and Catholics, when you if you ask an Orthodox person this question, you're going to get so many different responses because it's not it's never been an issue in the Orthodox Church. Okay, peace.